Hello, it's Miriam Castilla and welcome to the Manifesting Playground for Soulful Women in Business, the place where we practice the art and science of effectology, helping you marry the magical with the practical so you can have more money and more time the easy way without all the hustle. Now today we're going to talk about how to generate and build abundance momentum. So we don't want just drips and drabs of abundance and money coming to us, but we really want to get on a roll. We want it to build and build and become more easy, more effortless, bigger and better, because that is what life is all about. It's constant evolution. You will constantly want the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And that is a very good thing because without progress and without evolution, you stagnate, you wither, you die right? So this is how life operates. Everything is constantly growing and evolving and your desire will also do the same. And the bigger and more abundant you grow, the more you can spread your message, your service, and the more you can do good in the world. So I'm not going to try and talk you through the whole, all the things that comes up, although we are going to talk about it just a little bit in a second. Now, the first thing you want to do, obviously, is you want to become more magnetic to money. Make it so much easier for that money to flow into your experience. Yes, you're going to run your business and do all the things that you do, but we want to do things the easier way. So what you need to, first of all, get really good at is aligning with the vibration that money is on, which is the vibration of abundance. So that takes awareness and it takes constant fine tuning, tweaking, and really playing with it and becoming better and better at noticing where you're at. And then of course, getting that feedback from your external world as to you know, whether you're right on it or a little bit off it. It's kind of like you're a radio receiver and you're learning to really tune yourself to the station that you want to be listening to because the radio signals, the abundance, it's all out there. It's up to you to align with it and make it really easy for that signal to find you. So that's number one. But then as you start attracting that money, you want to it to stay around. You want to keep that money around and not just have it bounce off. So that's the second thing you need to really start looking at is what is it that makes money not stick around so much, that makes it bounce off. And what it is, 99.99999% of the time, basically all the time, is that it is not a match to your current self-image. Somewhere there in your unconscious, it says, no, this is not me, I don't deserve it, I'm not good enough, I don't know enough, whatever the thing is. And it's a mismatch. And so you find ways to unconsciously get rid of the money, whether it's manifesting extra bills, screwing up and getting speeding fines, or you know, just making a bad investment. You unconsciously find ways to get back to what does match the current self-image. So you also need to do the work on clearing all those old money blocks, those old limiting beliefs that aren't allowing the money to stick around. And that is when you can attract the money, it sticks around and you can start to snowball and really build that momentum. And that's really all law of attraction is. It is another word for momentum because one thing leads to another similar thing leads to another similar thing and it builds and builds and builds. So if you want abundance momentum, it actually means that you are just keeping yourself in that beautiful abundance state and allowing the momentum to gather, allowing law of attraction to kick in and to send you more things that match where you are already at, right? So you want to align yourself with abundance and keep tweaking that and really getting on that vibration. You want to release the blocks that are holding you back. But the last thing you also want to do that's really important and that a lot of people skip is you want to become a really confident custodian of that money. Because when you are attracting money and it's sticking around, you're going to need to know what to do with it. And if you don't lack confidence, if you're not knowing what to do with it, if you don't want to look at it, if you don't want to deal with it, that's actually a sign that you still have some money blocks and some limiting beliefs and it is a mismatch. So it's really important to get your act together and know what to do with your money on the practical level so that you can build your confidence, which increases your alignment and shifts your self-image up to the next level and helps you continue to build that momentum. So it is these three aspects, which I call the magnetic money trifecta. 
you want to attract more money, you want to keep that money around by releasing the blocks that keep making it ricochet off. And then you want to help your money grow and multiply by becoming really good at the practical stuff, at being the confident custodian of your money. Now, where do you even start with all of that? Well, if you're not already in my Magnetic Money program, definitely check that out because that is what we do. And we do it in a beautiful, supportive and inspiring group of women. But the very first step is to start becoming self-aware of all three of those prongs on the trifecta. And I've got a beautiful freebie for you, which is my Magnetic Money Tracker. And it helps you to start becoming aware of all of those things so that you can start making those adjustments, becoming more self-aware and start getting on a roll to that beautiful abundance momentum. So grab that from the link in the description and I shall see you next time. Keep on embracing your beautiful and unlimited potential. Bye.